everybody, it's Alma. Welcome back to Keto Meets Menopause. Check, check, check. You see it? You lift it? One, two, three. <laughs> there we go. Hey, everybody. All right, so I was inspired by a recipe uh, that was on Headbanger's Kitchen. He made a eggplant uh, in Voltini, and, well, I decided I would do it, but I needed it to be a little bit hardier for my husband. Uh, <laughs> vegetarian is not going to cut it for him, guys. I had already had plans to buy an eggplant, and make some ratatouille. All right, so I made my ratatouille. Here it is. All right, so here's my ratatouille. I'll be linking in the upper right-hand corner um, how I made this. I'll be using this as my base. He used pizza sauce. I will be using my yummy ratatouille. So what I'm gonna do is take a layer of it, and this is a pan I can use inside of my air fryer. In fact, this pan, I've got a really small air fryer. It's a 2.5 liter. This says it um, only goes in a 2.75 and above. Guys, it fits on my 2.5. So if you have a small one, I got this on Amazon. I'll put an affiliate link at the bottom for my Farberware uh, air fryer, which again is small. It doesn't take a huge amount of space on the countertop. Also for this nonstick uh, cooking container. All right, so I'm gonna take, you know, just about, I don't know, a quarter cup. And I'm gonna line my the bottom of my pan. Let me get out my scale. I'm gonna zero it out so I know how much cheese I'm putting in. So I've got mozzarella cheese, and I'm just gonna layer the bottom of the pan in 1.5 ounces of mozzarella. So you see, there we go. All right, next, what I'm gonna do is take my mixing container. Again, zero it out. I am gonna use the last of my ricotta cheese. Now, you're going to say, what is an involtini, Alma? Involtini is just a really fancy word for saying that you have an outer layer object. In this case, being zucchini and eggplant, you're filling it with something. So that's what an involtini is. You could use a fish, a meat, a poultry as the outer layer, whatever it is. In this case, we're doing vegetable. Okay, I have 12.3 ounces of ricotta. And to that, adding some Parmesan cheese. All right, so I have 12.3 ounces of ricotta. I'm gonna clear that out. To that, I'm gonna add 1.8 ounces of Parmesan cheese. I'm gonna clear it out again. This time I use my uh, Parmesan and garlic. I would say this is gonna be about half a tablespoon. Then guys, you're just gonna get this well mixed. So I will be adding this. This is red and black pepper. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this, get it nice and blended. So we have our mixture mixed up. Now what I did off screen, I cut up my uh, eggplant and a little bit of zucchini guys. So I have six eggplants, I have four um, slices of zucchini and uh, I first salted them, let them soak. I soaked them for about an hour in the salt. You do that because it's naturally extremely bitter and if you've ever cooked eggplant and you didn't salt it, you'll know exactly what I mean. I've done it before. Um, and, you know, gosh, thank goodness for my Top Chef teaching me so many different things. I love Top Chef. Tom Colicchio, you're adorable. All right, so you're gonna take the eggplant and you're gonna do exactly what the word in Voltini means. Fill a layer and then we'll place it inside this lovely cooking dish. So I've got my measuring spoon and we're gonna fill it with, a, you know, roughly a tablespoon her. There we go. And then guys, there you go. You roll. Now if you don't want to spend the time rolling guys, guess what? You could use all of these ingredients and simply make a lasagna. A, you know, that's basically what all of this kind of is, is like a lasagna. But you know what? I always like seeing my peers make recipes and if I can you know if it's something that would definitely um, appeal to my family you know I like to give it a try for the zucchini which is a lot smaller you know it's gonna be a very minuscule amount closer to probably a teaspoon now we're gonna do get our scale we're gonna place our pan on top. Gonna zero it out. I'm gonna take some of my pepperoni. Yeah. This will make hubby happy. Told you this meal was not gonna be a vegetarian meal. But now you've seen one made vegetarian style. 
that's keto, as well as a non-vegetarian one. Okay, we're at 1.1 ounce of pepperoni. Zero it out. We're going to put a very small layer, very small. In fact, that is 0.7 ounce of mozzarella. Zero it out. We'll put on a little more of the Parmesan. 0.7. Zero it out. Throw on some more ratatouille. 3.7 ounces of ratatouille. Zero it out. Throw on some more pepperonis. All right, so that's 0.3 ounces. We are going to top it off with virtually the rest of this cheese, guys. Oh, yeah. We're not going to be shy with our cheese. All right. So that is another 3.7 ounces of cheese. I'm going to take my basket, place it into my air fryer, set it at about 250 for about 30 minutes. I'll let you guys see the finished product in just a few minutes. I added a little bit of my Rinaldi's pizza sauce just to top it off a little bit. And here we go. We're going to go ahead and I'm going to cut this into four sections. Pardon the noise in the background, guys, but I have my dishwasher going. Yeah, clean as you go. I've told you that before. I did my meal prep, so you'll see lots of videos of that. And it is currently 438. I've got just over 13,000 steps, and hubby should be home in about an hour. The kitchen is completely clean from all the meal prep. Easy to do a dinner. Look at that, guys. Woo! Take a look at that yumminess, guys. Doesn't that look good? Okay, guys, so that is your involtini. Cheers. That's good. Put a fork in it, guys. She's done. Thank you so much for allowing me to spend time with you. If you haven't already done so, please hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and hit that notification button so that you'll know each time I post a new video. All right, guys, have a great day. Bye bye. Joyce Wednesday, it's Onito. Now here's my wife to teach us keto. Pork rinds, pork rinds, rah, rah, rah. Carbohydrates, carbohydrates, blah, blah, blah.